So the PS5 is releasing very soon in India. As of this video, very, very soon. Uh, the release date for the PS5 in India has been set for February 2nd. And pre-orders for it start January 12th. Now, for those of you guys who are Indian viewers here, um, there's a bit of bad news if you planned on getting the digital version. Unfortunately, Sony has confirmed, we're going to put those in quotation marks, confirmed that only the PS5 Classic Edition, which is the disc-based version, is coming to India. Let's go ahead and get to that article. Before I do, make sure you guys are hitting the thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are new. I noticed that 60% of you guys are not yet subscribed. Make sure you do that and join me for my live streams where I stream tons of games every day or almost every day. It just depends if I have a show with my band or not. I'm sidetracking. Let's get to the article. All right. So Sony allegedly confirms that only the PS5 Classic Edition is coming to India at the console's launch. Ah. <sighs> Sony, I love you. I hate you at the same time. I don't know what I, you know, Sony, I don't, I don't know. You, you dig your own grave. Sony's PS5 release announcement for the Indian market may have come as a long awaited relief for many gamers in that country. However, it seems there is a string in this tale. The company now apparently only plans to make the disk drive enabled version of the console available between the start of its first pre-order window and its February 2021 release. This means the digital version will not be listed anywhere until later, until a later unspecified date. IGN India has reached out to Sony for confirmation of the story, as has the Twitter account PS5 India. They have, they have been told the same thing. Not only is this the case, but Indian sales of its first-party headset, HD camera, and the charging station for the new DualSense controller are also now delayed. Well, that sucks. I didn't know about the rest of this stuff. Man, that sucks. Well, you know what? Let's be honest here. Sony does make good headphones. I'll give them that. But there's much better headphones out there for that same price. I'm just saying. And the HD camera. Look, look. The HD camera as a camera. It's not that good. But unfortunately, you can only use a PlayStation camera on the PS5. Same thing with the PS4. You can only use a PlayStation camera. It sucks. It's stupid. I, You know what? That's another discussion. That's another discussion. This news may come as a blow to many prospective buyers who had been willing to settle for the digital edition. It is slated to cost... I, I don't know the currency... Is, is it rupees? I'm I'm thinking, I'm thinking Zelda right now. You know what? I'm just gonna say Indian currency. I'm sorry, um, which is about 545 US dollars, about the same as the Xbox Series S, widely seen as the less desirable alternative in the same country. Excuse me. The Indian uh, currency of 49,990 uh 99 four <laughs> of 990, which is about 682 US dollars is what the classic edition would cost at least has reportedly landed safely with its various retailers across India in preparation for the first day of pre-orders about 3 days from now January 9, 2021 which I mean I mean this article is a couple it, it's a day old uh however the those planning to buy their PS5 offline have been advised to call Sony's toll-free number to make sure their closest possible store with available will have available units. Uh, in addition, metro areas are said to be in line for preferential treatment in terms of PS5 stock. Therefore, those in even slightly remote areas may be better off trying an online store from January 12th. Um, okay. Why is this a bad thing? Uh, this is a bad thing because the digital market is a huge market. It's a huge market. Um it it's a little bit difficult from the, and and I'm saying this from uh from people who are subscribed to the channel who are uh Indian viewers and Indian subscribers uh it can be a little bit difficult for them to get their hands on physical media um while I am a, a huge a supporter of physical media I I buy all my games 
if I can help it, because sometimes games don't release in physical form. But if I can help it, I will buy all my games in physical media. You can't see that I'm pointing to a stack right here. Let me switch my camera, point into a stack right here. Uh, so that's that's how I feel when it comes to games. And normally I encourage people to buy physical media because uh, you, you want to support physical media. I, I just will not get into that subject because it's a whole topic for me. So we'll, we'll not get into that. But um, what it comes down to is that this is a huge uh, issue in the sense that, you know, why... If they can't use it because they can't get their hands, yes, you can still get the digital versions, but if they can't, or digital versions of games, but if they can't use the disk drive, then why have it? You know, like so. So that that's that's what I'm saying. It's a huge problem. People would rather save the hundred, you know, hundred U.S. dollars, um, and I say hundred U.S. dollars because again, I don't know the currency, but people would rather save the hundred U.S. dollars if possible to potentially uh, buy a PS5, and and I understand that. I understand that. Uh, what I didn't know was the whole thing with the headset and the HD camera. And again, the headset is, I mean, again, Sony headsets are, are fine, but it's not a huge loss. It, it's really not. And then the uh, the HD camera, there's better cameras out there. There are. I, I mean, if, if you're doing live streaming and stuff like that, um, I think the camera, actually, I don't think the camera's necessary for VR. What the hell is the camera you for anyways? You know what? Whatever. It's another discussion, I guess. Uh, but they they did say down the line they would release the digital version of it. Uh, it's just they're not releasing it first, uh, which fine, I guess. Um, the fact that it costs the same as an Xbox Series S, that's kind of crazy because the Series S is supposed to be $100 cheaper than the PS5 digital version. But anyways, if you guys are in India and you're planning on getting a PS5, bottom line is you're going to have to get the, the the classic edition. Is that what they're calling it now? So this is the classic edition that I have. It's not that big a deal, but I mean, it, it's going to cost you $100 more, you know, US dollars. Uh, but thank you for watching the video today. I appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section. And I'll see you guys real soon.